Hello. Today's devotion, which is titled Remembering, is brought to you from Grace Lutheran Church in Mastic Beach, courtesy of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Our scripture reading is taken from Psalm chapter 77, verses 1 through 4, and then 7 through 12. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble I seek the Lord. In the night my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. When I remember God, I moan. When I meditate, my spirit faints. Salah. You hold my eyelids open. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. Will the Lord spurn forever? and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast love forever ceased? Are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his compassion? Salah. Then I said, I will appeal to this, to the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. We sometimes endure restless, sleepless nights, perhaps replaying frightening, disastrous events and experiences in our minds. This can be an endless loop that we cannot shut down, no matter how hard we try. We spend the night praying, but find no comfort. Like the psalmist, We are so troubled that we cannot speak. We have the same questions asked in the psalm. Is God even listening to our prayers? We have always known the loving God, but now has he somehow forgotten to be loving? We know that he keeps his promises, but recent events leave us wondering. Are his promises at an end for all time? More personally, we may even wonder, is God angry with me? Is that why I'm enduring all of this? The inspired psalmist supplies the answer to his own questions. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. The answer to his doubts and sleepless nights is found in God's word and his works. That is where we, too, will find the answer to our doubts and sleepless nights. We certainly remember the ways were before the tragedies that distort our lives and disturb our sleep. Life was normal then and ordinary, and we wish in vain for things to be that way again. But we need to go back far beyond that in order to remember God's wonders of old. We need to go back to a time before time, before the world was created, because that is when God chose us to be his own. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ, even as he chose us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. From before creation, our remembering fast forwards to a stable in Bethlehem and then to a cross outside of Jerusalem. God sent his Son to be our Savior. On the cross, Jesus laid down his life for us, taking our sins onto himself and suffering the penalty of death in our place. Then we remember the event just three days later, when the open and empty tomb revealed that Jesus has risen from the dead. Our memories of of the past continue forward to the day when God adopted us as his children in baptism. On that day, we were buried with Christ and raised to new life in him, a life that will continue on into eternity. Has his steadfast love forever ceased? Are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? His steadfast love has not ceased. He has not forgotten. His promises for us did not end at the baptismal font. They were only beginning. The mighty deeds and wonders of God are displayed for us to find and remember in his word. 
And should there be those long and restless nights when we cannot remember his promises? God remembers. Please pray with me. Almighty God, when in restless days and nights of doubt and fear we forget your works and wonders, turn our hearts and minds to your word. Lead us by your spirit to remember your mighty deeds for our salvation. We know in Christ that your promises and your steadfast love will never end. Hear our prayer in his holy name. Amen. This has been Deacon Ed wishing you a blessed day.